Hello, I'm Tiam Singh. Nice to have you back with me. This week, I'm going to continue more structures PML that we left off last week. I'm working on creating some structure profile and I find that in order to change any profile in the model that I have, I need to use the properties. And here, I have to select the reference and I can change the property of the sections by selecting the new profiles. This seems a bit tedious, so I thought I'd write some PML. I will continue from where I left off. I'll use the selection object to actually change all the sections that I have to the new profile that I select from the, from the user interface. Remember the script that we had in part one of this PML series? We use the selection object and we get the current selection that the user has selected. In the second portion, we get the selected profile from the user interface of the structure apps. Next, we will put the objects that we selected into a loop. First, we will navigate to the object that we selected one at a time. Because there's a chance that he might select other objects besides Gen set, therefore we have to check that to make sure that the type that is selected is Gen set and we use the if then and if command to do that. So if it's a gen set, then we just change the spec ref to the selected profile. With the same program, we delete a few lines, add a few lines, and we can make the micro do a different function. Let's see how it works. Let's select the shape and uh, different profile. Let's run our macro with a synonym ZZ. You can see that the section that we have selected has been changed. Now let's select a bunch of sections. You can see I've included the pipes in my selection. Let's run our macro again. There you have it. The sections that are selected have been changed with the, to the new profile. This video shows that by doing some simple modification, you can create function that will help you in your design work. Hope you like it. See you again soon. Bye.